So yesterday, we were having a poll on Twitch on who shall I build next. Tartaglia was level 20 yesterday, so we decided to go farm some oceanate boss. Wait. Wait, is this a bug? Why do- why am I missing one platform at the start? And after a while, he's finally up on par and he's around level 80 now, yes? 83, 210, 126 energy recharge, 83 hydro damage bonus, and if I send him one more time, he goes up to 90 hydro damage bonus. His weapon is, uh, Harpy or the Thundering Pulse. Depending if I want to go for damage per screenshot or not, it just has more crit damage and less crit rate, yes? The constellation is constellation 3, because if you you guys noticed? I mean, was it the first or the second Tartaglia banner? Rosaria was on Tartaglia banner and I was hunting for C6 Rosaria, so my Tartag has constellation. We're gonna pair him with a bunch of different characters. So, generally, we'll pair him with the Burger King team right here, with Kazuha Bennett, the BK Burger King team. Maybe Zhongli in there as well. And we're gonna try, just try to do the stage one of the abyss right because stage one of the abyss is where to showcase uh tartaglia strong point which is like massive aoe damage right his single target damage isn't as good but his aoe is really nice yeah but before that a war from our sponsor and for today's sponsor we have nino kuni crosswords a vastly open world mmorpg coming out this summer 2022 by net marble this game will be set inside a similar art style with most of the Studio Ghibli movies and it looks so beautiful. It can be cross-played on mobile and PC. In this game, it's basically a game within a game. It's a multiplayer game, so you can set up a kingdom. There are five unique characters you can select from. The Swordsman, the Witch, the Engineer, the Rogue, and the Destroyer. For my place, the Destroyer seems like the tanky frontline character type, which I always play, so hopefully I can go on that, yeah? Players can join together and create and expand kingdoms, fight for the throne, it's a competitive game mode where kingdoms compete to be recognized as the best in the server and the winner is named the capital. The capital can exercise powerful authority within the server competition. The game that lets you create your own story is always nice, yes? The VOD of the gameplay is on my Twitch stream a couple of days ago where I streamed Nino Kuni for roughly 3 to 4 hours ish, yeah? Alright, I'll see you guys there. Now back to the video. How do you play Tar Tag? You hit E and you auto attack? 1, 2, 3, 4. Charge attack. 1, 2, 3, 4. Charge attack. One, two, three. Charge attack. I think that's like how you play every auto attack character, right? Okay, do you think I should run 80% crit rate? Or do you think I should run higher crit rate? Or like lower crit rate, I mean. Do you like this more? 68, 220 better? Or do you like uh, 80, 200 better? Because I get a little bit... I get like 20% more energy recharge. I don't know how important energy recharge is for tar attack. His ult is pretty short cooldown, right? Yeah, it's like 15 seconds. I like spamming ult. I feel like level 90 is gonna cost me a fortune again i'm kind of broke yeah i'll stay like this all right level 80 all right let's let's test our damage out on something let's go for some rune guards is that okay i don't know is that damage okay relatable damage oh god is that is that kind of kind of stinky damage what the hell i know i have some random constellation because i was pulling for rosaria but talent is 786 is fine right should i use like an r1 weapon instead then does it matter electro charge yeah true i need to like uh get like multiple damage number up numbers way too dank yeah, it feels very smooth to play, for sure. Oh, I don't have my E back. But, like, his playstyle is kind of similar to Ayato, right? Except the fact that he scales better if there's more enemy, yeah? But ISO is just easier to function because his cooldown isn't ranging, yeah? Riptide is gorgeous. Riptide is gorgeous. Yeah, Riptide does make him better than Ayato for sure, yeah. Yunjin. Do I have my Yunjin gear? She is kind of gear. I mean, she has no set bonus, but that's all right, no? Three crits from Tartaglia. Eat all the Yunjin stacks. Oh, right. Yeah, Yunjin takes the stacks. Hold up. I will have order. Yeah. 
I was hitting for like 20k for like one second there. Right? I was hitting for like 20k. Solidify. As one with wind and cloud. Into the wind. For one second, yeah, for one second I hit for uh 20k. Glorious. Oh my god. Why are you so tanky? Why are you so tanky? Try with Thundering Pulse for more steroid number? I think I should use Thundering Pulse instead. Thundering Pulse? Uh, this is the first time in forever someone took the weapon away from you and me, yeah. Fallen leaves adorn my strike is one. Shouldn't let your guard down. 70, 78,000 damage. And what, what, how much was my auto hitting for? 30k? 30k is nice, no? But then again, this is a R5 of this weapon. You think that damage is enough? That's like fully buff almost, right? Probably we don't need Zhongli. We probably don't need Zhongli. Probably Bennett in there is better. Skyward Harp is better? Is Skyward Harp better for, for Tartak damage? No, right? Because this has attack as well. So it does scale Riptide up. Oh, right. Yeah, I have... I have the gun. No, okay. This is kind of weird though. Like, this has like... I guess, no, we just have to run the first half, right? I don't have to run the entire abyss because, you know, it doesn't matter if I run the entire... I just run the first chamber, right? Wind strike. As one with wind and cloud. I'm going in! Like this! Nice and spike! You can run, but you can't hide. Do you not get knocked back? Clouds high. The birds call. One with nature. Teamwork is trick. Luba, get them. Let's light it up. You're in toast. Riptide. Oh my. Little bit whiffy there with a little downtime. Okay, I really don't like this pyro aura that they have right now. It's like pyro aura of um. You can run, but you can't hide. Ding dong. Uh, why did I finish the stage? That's fine. Yeah, I know you can swore both elements, but I'm thinking it's not necessary since most of the damage is on Zhongling, Bennett, and Kazuha anyway. It is relevant to buff Tartak. I'm not that sweaty anymore, chat. I guess this team is not for me. I no longer sweat in Genshin. But hey, I think that'll be the end, right? We f around with Tartak a bit. And I think maybe... Maybe I'll just do like random polls every day to see which character I should play for the day, you know? Let's go for bosses and stuff. Tartak was a bit weird because Tartaglia can only be really showcased in like an AoE, multiple enemy environment. Maybe if we get like other polls on other days, we get like more stuff, we can do like some boss rush again, yeah? But that'll be it for today, yes, chat. That'll be it for the uh, YouTube session.